Hi everyone, welcome back. My name's Alicia. Thanks for joining me again this week. Today we're celebrating the fifth Sunday in Easter. In the gospel today, Jesus shares a parable about a vine and its branches to teach us about staying close to him. This is a reading from the Gospel of John. Jesus said, I am the vine and you are the branches. When you are a part of me and I am living in you, you will do great things for God. But if you are cut off from me, you can do nothing. All those who do not stay part of me are like dried up branches that can only be gathered up and burned. But if you are a part of me and you live by my words, you may ask for whatever you want and it will be done for you. When you do good deeds, you show that you are my disciples and you honor and glorify God. The Gospel of the Lord. The farmers in Jesus' time understood a lot about farming and vineyards. They were very familiar what a grapevine was and how important the vine was to the branches. Many of them even harvested grapes. They understood the importance of the vine and how it helped the branches to grow healthy and strong. The branches needed the vine to get food and water to grow and live and produce healthy fruit. Jesus says that he is the vine and we are the branches. Branches grow out from the vine and receive their food from that vine. Then they are able to grow leaves and make fruit. Our souls get their lives from Jesus. When we stay close to him, then we are able to do good works and grow like the grapes on a vine. Jesus called us branches because he supports us, like a grapevine supports the branches, or like a tree trunk supports its branches, and he wants us to bear fruit for him. What do you think that means? Do you think it means that he wants us to grow grapes? No, he wants us to produce a different fruit, good fruit, like kindness, generosity, and faithfulness. Most of all, he wants us to love others as he loves us. And he wants us to always stay close to him. What Jesus means is that he wants us to stay close to him by following his teachings. It means being the best we can be, loving each other and loving the beautiful world that he gave us. There are many things that we can do to be close to Jesus. We can stay close to Jesus by praying. We can pray to Jesus if we need help or if we want to thank him for something that we're grateful for. What are some other th ways that you can think of to stay close to Jesus? Maybe by reading the Bible with your family, going to mass on Sunday, maybe being kind to a new student at school or remembering to recycle to help the earth or helping our teachers or our parents at home. There are so many different ways that we can stay close to Jesus. This week, I made a vine with branches that I used from packing paper I got in a delivery. I was recycling it as a way to stay close to Jesus. At the top, I wrote, I am the vine and you are the branches that we heard about in John's gospel today. On each of the branches, I added leaves. And on those leaves, I added different ways that we can stay close to Jesus, like being kind, sharing, helping others. On this one, I drew a smiling face to remember to smile at others and a cross to remember to pray. You can add as many branches as you want. Maybe you wanna add one for every member of your family and you can work together to come up with things that you each can do to stay close to Jesus. I hope you all have a great week. I'll see you next time. Bye.